we're on the itching again. I think it's coming towards the end of the mayfly. Um, but we found one. So, uh, four weight as usual, nothing new here. And a little Mohican mayfly that I tied. And that fish is just this second just taken one in front of me. Dry fly mayfly over him a good few times and it's quite clear to me that he is eating the nymphs. He's just I've just watched him eat another one there. So I've got my little my little mayfly nymph that I tie. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. I'm gonna put that over him. You won't be able to see the take unfortunately but you'll be able to hopefully get a different perspective on on the trout in the river they're not always up on the dry fly matter of getting the nymph in the right place you know literally just we probably heard me say that's got to be about right and um i knew he was taking nymphs and sometimes it's just a matter of trying to work out which nymph they want you know let me just come across here he wasn't taking the dry fly and i was you know when, when you're watching them take take the nymphs then you'd be a jaws there the size 14 Pheasant Town Nymph tied by me at Muscle White Flies. Well, we found another fish and it's a, it's a lovely, lovely wild eel. We've been struggling a bit, I'll be honest with you. We found, we found a few, but we, we've also failed to catch a few. I say we, I, I know I'm not just one, but we give this one a go. Right, so basically he didn't want what I was doing him, so... What do you do? What do you do, 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 do? I'm gonna go with this one. We started to, it's a mayfly again, it's just a different style of mayfly. And what I'll do is I'll keep getting smaller with the flies. So, it's another style of mayfly. Uh, it's obviously not a detached body, it's just a, a, uh, a quite a traditional way to tie a mayfly. Right, it's taking very, very small flies. Um, there are a lot of midges and stuff about, and just, just for a cast now, I'm just going to try a fly called a Kites Imperial, which I've actually been having quite a lot of success on in recent days on, on the river. So, we'll put that on and we'll see if we'll have that.
that was lucky because he did. I think it's a great. He did take it again, actually. Right, we're back on the river again. It's a few weeks after the mayfly hatch. So we won't see any mayfly, I doubt. Um, but we're back to see what we can find. And we haven't been here that long and we've already found a nice brownie, which is a nice wild fish. Just sat in these shallows here. Now, I've already seen him taking a few nymphs. So I've put on a, one of my pheasant tail nymphs size 14 and um right. we'll see if we can get him let's go watching him take him he's moving about quite actively taking him so hopefully we'll nail this bit of a tricky cast oh he just took another one Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, lower. Oh. There's a grayling that's, there's a grayling that's by him as well, and I don't want to catch him. Just wait for a wrong yeah, do this over. Yeah. How has it not taken that? That's it, surely.
knew he was going to have that all day long. Right, luckily, first fish of the evening, he was sat just down in here and I was lucky to see him. He didn't refuse the pheasant town in. Spirited little fellow. Come on, you little monkey. Choice. I can see the fly. Here we go. Here we go. First fish of the evening. Look at him. And he's absolutely engulfed that fly. I don't know if you'll be able to... <laughs> whoa, 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 steady, 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 <laughs> steady, 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 mate. Who is the fly in his mouth? We'll just, just take him out. Oh. Steady, steady. That is a beautiful, wild, River itching brown trout. I'd say he was a young, young male. Right, found another fish, and I'm gonna try sticking a dry over it. I haven't seen it take any dries. We're in the flight path, Southampton Airport. So, <gasps> excuse any planes that fly over. Must look one down there. I don't know what it was. Did it just rise? Ah. And again. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I'm going to try a dry fly over this fish. I've got a little quill bodied olive. Quill bodied? Quill bodied olive. And we'll see if we'll take it. If he won't, I'll put the pheasant tail nymph back on. But we'll see. Is it the fish or? Oh. Yes, got him. He came up ever so slowly then. I don't know if you got that on the camera. I didn't, unfortunately. He came up ever so, ever so slowly to take that little olive pattern. That was amazing. Perfect, I'm not sure how much you saw of it on the camera. But he's, he's a lovely fish and he came up so gently and sucked the fly in so delicately. Whoa. It's, it's just so much fun on this little four way. What I'm going to have to do is come downstream of him. Oh, he's got in that stream of weed again. Come downstream of him. If I can get downstream of him and get him in the net and we'll show you this fish. Come on, here he goes, or she goes by the look of it. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that was just epic. That's why I go trout fishing, the catch him. As you can see, the, the little quill bollied olive fly is looking a bit bedraggled and a bit drowned, but it's locked firmly in the jaw there. Um, we're just going to unhook him, or unhook her. Let's uh, uh. pop her up here a minute. Cool, look at that, eh? <laughs> it's only just in there. 
I'll just show you this fish briefly before we stick her back. Beautiful, beautiful. Not as vivid spots as the last one, but you can't complain when you catch them on a dry like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There she goes. 